This program is brought to you by Fast Signs of Durango. More than fast, more than signs. Fast Signs. La Plata County is filled with dazzling custom homes that are works of architectural art. But one home literally is a work of art. Designed and built by Durango artists Jeff and Susan Wise, it's a masterpiece of rock and metal that reflects the abstract sculptures and paintings of its owners. Durango producer Brian Gill takes us on a tour during this week's Southwest Colorado Real Estate News. We're just going to do kind of a, a, a quick whippy zippy tour of what my wife Susan and I have been uh, up to the past 10 years. We're both artists and now uh, we're living in our grandest creation here. Um, so this is actually where it started was uh, this building here which we call the uh, Yoga Pagoda. Currently it's Susan's painting studio. This whole project took about 10 years and this big boy here which weighs probably we figured it we've kind of figured it out it was around 12 13 thousand pounds um, was moved here uh, when we had the big equipment of digging the excavation for the house these big these are called jaw dies so each one of these guys weighs about 1500 pounds and uh, think of them as giant molar teeth basically in a in a gravel crushing operation so there's two of them that that uh, work together and uh, vibrate like this and then and then the gravel goes down these slots yeah i think it'll go one thing we really enjoy doing with this house is using the industrial scraps and you can curve them around and they have just beautiful form to them okay now that's good this is the 60 year old concrete shuffle here sets everything up really nice. This is going to be a planter. I really love this thing. To me, it, I, I was looking at it yesterday and uh, I think it looks like one of those carnival bumper car things. We've done really neat things with uh, big gears. Our column out front really looks like a, a Greek column. This cistern here catches all the water from, from the uh, roof which drops into the top here. There's a, a little downspout in the gutter and it drops right into this cistern and then comes down this wonderful spillway and comes out in the uh, lower cistern. And then the overflow from that diffuses a whole nother part of the garden. I designed a little trough so that when it really starts raining, it just spills over the trough and then that waters a whole nother part of the garden as it goes down the, uh, the cascade of my, my curving stairs here. So here's my woodshed. What a fun thing this was to build, but uh, boy, a lot of work. So this was done over a period of about three years probably. And the, uh, the roof is kind of like a, uh, almost like a suspension bridge really between the two points. Um, the first thing we did was hung a piece of steel in between the two points and that just naturally draped in, in there and formed the uh, curve that we wanted to make. This became dubbed the Chinese takeout basket. And uh, this is the, uh, the end of a big propane tank. Entering into the living room, this is where we created where our... We, we were chill and we warm up. With our hearth that we designed together, Jeff and I. It's very deco. Yeah, these grooves kind of wells for the shadows. To, it creates this depth. And I, I love this kind of serration that happens in here. This is our dining room. It's usually the first place that we, we look at art because it's clean, it has great lighting, and it's really intimate. This is definitely the last house I'm going to build. It's been a wonderful part of our lives, but I'm glad to see this wrapped up. <laughs> 